10 amazing, legendary and unique cafes that you absolutely must visit when in Mumbai. and welcome to Sugar Spice Nice. My name is Shweta and in this video, I'm sharing with you some of the best cafes in Mumbai. Some of these are hidden gems, some are legendary, but all of them together do add to the ever so vibrant food culture of Mumbai. If you enjoy dining in cozy, rustic places or like to visit some of the oldest cafes of Mumbai, then this video is for you. All of the locations to these places will be in the description box below. Starting from South Mumbai and moving towards the suburbs, first we have a cafe with this view. This is the gateway of India and the cafe in question is the Bayview Cafe. If you want to enjoy an evening while gazing at the sea and of course having some good food, then this is an option. There aren't too many terrace cafes like this in Mumbai, so when you come here, enjoy the view that this offers. The Arabian Sea, the Taj Mahal Hotel and the Gateway. You can try continental, Chinese, oriental and Indian cuisine here. I tried paneer chili here. The paneer was nice and soft and a little spicy. It cost about rupees 475. This is actually an evening place, especially with the current Mumbai weather. Moving on to the hip area, Kala Ghoda. This almost has an art district type of vibe and so many interesting stores here and also cafes. One of the OGs here is the Kala Ghoda Cafe. You can enjoy coffee, sandwiches and desserts here. And they also have some main course dishes. They have a good variety of healthy options as well, like their carrot cake. I recommend their chocolate almond cake, which is made from almond flour. So it is actually a flourless cake. And you can enjoy this with some cream on top or even some ice cream on the side. This costs approximately Rs 335 per slice. The cafe has a very chilled out vibe and is also a local and a tourist favourite. We can't talk about the cafes in Mumbai and not speak about the Irani ones. I mean, they pretty much started the cafe culture in Mumbai, right? So this is one of the oldest cafes in Mumbai, Kiani & Co. This is located in Marine Lines and it is known for their chicken keema and baked beans and toast. You can also try their burji. For desserts, I will recommend the mawa cake here. It's not too big, it's not too small and it's not overly sweet. It's available with egg as well as an eggless option. It costs, I think, 25 to 30 rupees. The food Food is very well priced overall and the quantity is also pretty good. Eating here is an experience as you'd be dining in a legendary Irani cafe that has been in Mumbai since such a long time. Another iconic Irani cafe is B. Merwan. This nostalgic cafe in Grant Road has been here since I think 1914 and is famous for their mawa cake. This cake is usually sold out by noon, so do go as early as possible to try and get it. If you do end up missing it, then you can try their other stuff like they have this mawa bun, wedge puff or cake toast and of course some Irani chai. All of these cost between 25 to 50 rupees and this price for a good breakfast or snack in Mumbai feels nearly impossible. Visiting this place is like taking a trip down memory lane and I highly recommend it for the old Mumbai feels. If you enjoy the aroma of freshly baked goods, this next place will make your mouth water. This is Bread Bar, a cute cafe and bakery in Chambur. And you can try so many different things here. I really enjoyed their sardo crackers, which come with four different dips. It's such a nice snack, full of different flavors. It costs 180 rupees. If you like sardo bread, then you can also try their Bread Bar Special Melt with pepper jam. It's also got a lot of melted cheese. This one costs about rupees 315. And if you still haven't got enough sourdough, you can actually buy a loaf here from the bakery. It costs 250 rupees approximately. A healthier food option here is also the caprese sandwich in a baguette. It also has pesto, basil, tomatoes and olive oil. The fun of it is that I got to see this baguette being made right here. And that's just how fresh it is. This one costs 350 rupees. 
In terms of desserts too, they have got many options. I tried the apple pie with a crumbly covering and soft cinnamony apples inside. A unique dessert here is the choux pastry. These are salted caramel and chocolate hazelnut ones and inside they actually have a custard filling. You can get an assortment of four of these for 300 rupees. Lastly, I'd suggest the butter croissant. It's got a beautiful flaky texture and it pairs so well with your hot chocolate which is one of the best ones in the city. So definitely have it here. So I think you must have guessed that this is a cafe for when you are in the mood to indulge. Now heading to the financial district of Mumbai, BKC, which is known for its fancy fine dining restaurants and cafes. This one here is inside the Geo World Drive, a luxury mall in Bandra Kurla complex. This cute patisserie is called Coco by Oberoi. If you want a really chilled out place where you can indulge in desserts and some conversations, then this is a cute one. They have a delectable collection of desserts and also a few snacks. I tried their pan au chocolat and fresh juice, but more than the food, I enjoyed the ambience of this place, the seating options and of course their open pastry bar. You just can't stop staring at it. If you are visiting the Apple store or shopping around in Geo World Drive, then this is a nice cozy place for a coffee break. The next place is a paradise for all cheesecake lovers. It's a quaint little cafe in Bandra called Chantilly and they are known for their cheesecakes. The cafe itself is a bit small and most of the evenings you will have to wait till a table frees up but it is absolutely worth the wait. I like the hot chocolate here, super thick and creamy. It costs 270 rupees. They also do seasonal specials like this one. So check whenever you come here for something new. And all in all, the fare is slightly on the pricier side, but completely worth it in my opinion. It's one of those cozy dessert cafes in Bandra and has a bit of a niche for itself because Bandra has too many cafes. Mandra is a famous hangout spot, there are two more cafes here that I'd like to share with you. Let me show you Candies, my personal favourite and every Bandra kid knows this place. It's an iconic hangout spot, been around for probably close to 30 years now. They offer a vast array of salads, burgers, puffs, sandwiches and even meals like pasta, biryani, noodles and of course a ton of desserts. This cafe is an old Portuguese style villa converted to a restaurant and there are different seating options available. You basically explore the villa, go up the steps, find yourself a cozy corner and enjoy your time. I recommend the chutney sandwiches here, they are to die for. These cost about 50 rupees each. You also get their in-house butter potato chips and they are melt in your mouth. This is a potato chop, it's like a potato patty, costs approximately 60 rupees. And the mini samosas here cost I think between 10 and 20 rupees, so good. The veg burger is huge, very filling, cost around 200 rupees. The food according to me is priced quite decently and enjoying the food with this vibe is a very fun experience. Bandra is also another place to catch the sea view. This is the library cafe on Carter Road. It's a really nice place to work or hang out or even read in. As their name suggests, they do have a few books here. And reading by this view is just wow. They have a nice variety of tea, coffee, snacks and desserts. I've tried this sizzling brownie with ice cream. The surprising flavour in this was of that of the orange slice beneath. What a twist. It added such a nice zing to this dish. This costs approximately 360 rupees. The ambience. The view and the food are things that make this cafe very special. Last but in no way the least is in fact a trend that's really catching on, cafes with healthy food. This is Garde Manger Cafe, it's a completely vegetarian cafe in Santa Cruz. The ambience is cozy and rustic with white and brown accents and a little bit of green here and there. They also have outdoor seating. They have so many options in vegetarian and vegan dishes. Other than their mouth-watering salads, you can also try their pizza, sandwiches, soups and more, which by the way are mostly healthy. Their menu is a perfect blend of Italian, Asian and Mediterranean 
flavors. You can also try the mock meat pizza here. Some of the best sellers include Mediterranean salad, margarita pizza and Jowar pita pockets. In terms of beverages, they have freshly brewed coffee, healthy smoothies which make for an incredible pairing with their dishes. Most of these dishes cost between 350 to 500 rupees but all the items have really high nutritional value and taste. The highlight of this cafe is that they offer vegan and gluten-free options in most of their dishes. I recommend the black rice salad for its incredible taste, texture and of course the caramelized walnuts in it. One great thing about this cafe is that they are actively eco-friendly. All of their serving bowls and dishes are the biodegradable ones and if you can't finish your bowl, they simply help you with a lid and your meal is ready to go. So those were my 10 must visit cafes in Mumbai. I have got individual videos on most of these places. So if you would like to watch my full experience, then I'll link those down below. And even the location details will be in the description box. If you'd like to watch more such videos, then let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Share it with your friends and family who love exploring cafes in Mumbai. And subscribe to my channel for more. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!